Hey guys, Slapattack here, and welcome back to World of Tank Blitz, and in this video, guys, I'll be showing you how to increase your rate of fire. Now, I think you guys know this already. I, I don't do tutorials at all. <laughs> Main fact is, I'm probably the worst teacher the world may ever know, but you guys have been requesting a tutorial like crazy, just, just anything. Um, so the topic today is how to increase your rate of fire. So I thought I might give a tutorial a shot, maybe, um, see how bad it actually turns out. So, um... Yeah, as I said, the topic today is how to increase your rate of fire. Now, before we begin, I just want to say a little, maybe a little tip. This is just my opinion, though. This is, does not go for you, or I'm not saying that this is exactly right. This is my opinion. Um, now, for tanks such as the Agpansy 100, I wouldn't say it is as critical to put, or to max out the rate of fire on it, just because its speciality is not DPM, really. Um, so I wouldn't say it's as necessary to put on a gun rammer or, or maybe, you know, adrenaline or something like that. That's just my opinion, though. A lot of you may have different, which is totally fine. It's totally fine. Um, but for tanks such as, you know, the Leopard, it'd probably be better to increase the rate of fire on that rather than the Jagdpanzer, for instance. So for a tank that already has insane rate of fire, I'd say you improve upon that. But for tank destroyers and maybe heavies like the 100, I wouldn't say it's as critical. So for instance, the E5, great tank to put it on. E3, not as important, but you could do it if you want to. As I said, just my opinion. Now, let's go back to... Our, our crash dummy or test dummy or whatever you like to call it. We're using the Matilda as our default tank to improve the rate of fire. Now, the Matilda already has an insane rate of fire, and that's why we are going to improve upon that. Now, I'll show you the equipment uh, selection I've, I've, I've taken. So, I obviously put on the medium caliber tank gun rammer. Uh, obvious, obvious choice if you want to increase your rate of fire. Um, ventilation class two, uh, again, very obvious choice if you want to increase your rate of fire. Uh, Five percent to the screw to all crew skills, which means crew skills includes the uh, loader. So yeah, five percent to him, and the enhanced gun lang drive, which is uh, ten percent better aiming speed. Now, I could choose this, which would, I mean, kind of keep our rate of fire, you know, insane rate of fire safe. But I never ever have ammo rack problems in the Matilda, so I wouldn't say it's as important. Um, but for instance, in tanks that have very, very thin armor like the E5, absolutely necessary to put a wet ammo rack. Almost get ammo racked every single time you get shot in the side, so that is quite unfortunate, and your rate of fire is just goes down to poop. So, uh, as I said, um, no, definitely not important if you have very thick armor like this, but for instance, tanks such as E5, as I said, uh, definitely more important. So. Let's look at the consumable selection I'm going to take. So obviously we're going to put adrenaline on, I'd like to put that in the middle. Since we're going to have no room for a fire extinguisher, first aid kit, or repair kit, we're going to put on the multi-purpose restoration pack. Now if you have a lot of credits, I suggest to put that on, but you know, if you have nothing else, I mean, maybe an automatic fire extinguisher would be nice. But as I said, again, I never get any module problems in the Matilda except maybe a dead driver, so I mean, a repair kit may be, uh, may be recommended, especially for the Matilda. And we're going to put some pudding and tea, or, or whatever 10% uh, crew that you have. So, different tanks, it's different, obviously. And uh, that pretty much completes um, the rate of fire buff, you could say. Now, obviously tea, 10% crew. Um, and let's see, adrenaline, uh, 25% loading speed for 30 seconds, which is absolutely insane, plus 10% of damaging your enemy modules, so that's definitely very good. So, once we have adrenaline on, putting in T, uh, medium caliber gun tank rammer, and the improved ventilation, I mean, it's just going to be absolutely, absolutely insane, plus the absolutely insane rate of fire that it already has by default. So, let us go in-game and check it out. Alright guys, so I've hopped into a battle here. Very nice matchup, very few tanks that can actually pen us. And uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be hopefully good. Hopefully they're on this side. If they're not, then that's going to be quite disappointing. And there is basically no damage for us here. Alright, sweet. So I'm not going to put on my, uh, my adrenaline yet. Actually, I might. Alright, uh, only in heated situations when we absolutely need it are we going to put it on. But for instance, right now when the enemy's right in front of us, not moving, um, then I think we are absolutely fine. Now, all right, our T46 just committed suicide. Nice. So as you can see, great rate of fire here. We're just murdering this Coventer. I think our our, our friend just died there. Uh, can we kill him? Ah, oh, shoot, we can kill him. All right, right now, perfect time. Perfect time. All right, let's slam it on. Here, here you go, guys. Just here's the rate of fire. Oh, I missed the shot. I didn't. Oh, right, fire. Got him on fire. His engine just broke. Now we're just murdering this guy. Very nice. Just look at that. Look at the rate of fire. Insane. He's down. 
Now it's your turn, Mr. Panzer 3. You are going down. Yeah, might want to hide a little. Ow! Who did that? Alright, um, that was just my, my, uh, spotter. Not important. Uh, who's in front of me? Martyr, your turn. Line shot for days. I mean, it looks like I'm a machine gun. I'm a machine gun. I'm gonna need to put that guy back in. There we go. Nice. Uh, can I actually hit you? Oh, I can't sweep. Alright, goodbye. Oh, you're on fire. That's the second German I've caught on fire today. Oh. Oh, over the engine. Uh, oh. Oh, no. Rival Matilda. Let's take him out. He's stuck, though, so we're fine. Go. There we go. Alright. I don't know where that martyr went. It's quite dangerous. His gun is, has monstrous penetration. Ow. Ah, uh, there he is. Can we take him out? No. Okay, let's focus on priorities now. So you can actually shoot in the, uh, in the gun mantlet uh, on the shoulder. Oh, I think we'll get a shot of this guy. Obviously not super necessary to put on a shooting this year, I think, but uh, it anyway. Are we going to win against this guy? I hope so. Well, he's not very experienced, as you can tell right here. Exposing his whole side to us. Oh no, alright, let's push up, guys. Till this priorities. Alright, we're going to have a shootout with this guy. No misses. Alright, we're not taking any damage. Alright, take him out. Uh, high roll! No, okay. I actually just got to be dead. Hands are two, three. Move up, please. Move up. Come on, there's a Lee behind you. Better move up. No? Yes, thank you. And especially with this rate of fire, you can track them and hold them in place for good, especially when they come around corners. I think that's the most useful part about that rate of fire, is you can just instantly track people and keep them tracked uh, when they come around corners, so there's a little tip there. Uh, miss that shot. And it's okay to miss in this tank, because um, the rate of fire doesn't matter. See, if it's in the Yak Panzer, or you get two rounds in a minute, obviously that'd be more critical. Ah, uh, think about... Thank you, rate of fire. Top Gun, sweet. Alright, very nice, very nice, very nice. Alright, so, there you go, guys. That is it for this tutorial, really. I actually quite like doing this. Very short, very easy to make. Um, oh, high mastery, and Top Gun, and Scout. A Scout in the Never heard of that before. Alright, uh, Steel Wall, unsurprisingly, and a Sniper Metal. Very, very nice. Oh, thank you, team. You are so kind. No, I stole all the damage. My team didn't get a chance. That's the Matilda for you guys. Um, so anyways, uh, as I said, that is it for this tutorial, guys. Please tell me if you like this, because I certainly didn't know what to expect from it. Um, but as I said, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.